After listening to your question, I felt both happy and sad. because we have thought this diabetes has it is disease there are lot of wrong opinions among the people about the diabetes there is wrong opinion even in scientific methods so today what we will be discussing is not about how it will come why it will come when it will come what impact it will have on our body or on which level it should be not all these Today we want to remove all the wrong opinions on diabetes. When we remove the wrong opinions, then only a disease can progress towards reduction. There was a great thinker called Karl Popper in London in 1950. He was a big professor of science in London School of Economics. What he has said: Knowledge advances not by repeating known things, but by refuting false dogmas. there is no meaning in telling the known things like a bookworm whatever are there in the books will tell the same things even the doctors do the same thing even the patients listen to the same things they ask others they ask someone who has diabetes this is only our understanding but it is not correct there are lot of wrong opinions first wrong opinion is one who has got diabetes his life is over he will die this is false after many studies what we have come to know is if we can control the diabetes it is not a disease not only this if a diabetes patient can control his diabetes through his very good lifestyle he can live 10 times more than a normal human being he can live 10 years more please remember this one who has got diabetes he should control it how to control i have still not told you one who controls his diabetes will have 10 years more to his life than the normal human being so please don't think that you will die you might remember if there are any old age people near you when you are a child they would die of diabetes because of only one reason one they would die because of diabetic coma another thing they would cut the hands and legs because blood vessels would stop but today it is not like that once you hear a young fellow has got diabetes you will start listening his eyes is damaged kidney is destroyed his legs are taken brain is damaged heart is damaged why all this happens if we test it correctly and if you test it deeply all of this doesn't come because of diabetes but these diseases come because of the tablets given for diabetes how many medicines we have created why we have created to make money these pharmaceutical companies have love over this diabetes disease so much means they pray to god to increase the diabetes disease because they make profit out of it not in crores but billions new new medicines they have just one mantra sugar level should come down they don't care about the human beings but the sugar level should come down out of these medicines some medicines came killed the people and have gone but still this disease has not gone which disease not diabetes disease but money making disease and medicine making disease this is the second wrong opinion third wrong opinion is to have a good control over diabetes you need only two things a you have to control your food b you have to work hard in our life for that we need exercise one who controls food and exercises he will live more than the human beings who have who don't have diabetes he will have more quality of life whatever complications i told he will not get third thing control means what is the question in our opinion control means the sugar report should be normal some people take the morning sample afternoon sample evening sample for test and there are some people who have the machine at home and after lunch they check it if the sugar level is little more they'll take extra tablet if the sugar level is down they will have more food still if it comes down they will eat sugar more at day This is a very big curse. We shouldn't check the sugar level often. Why? 
because whatever we know the weights and measures of the body it should be varying always for that we call healthy chaos sugar level has to vary always we have explored a lot about this if you prick here all the five fingers and take the blood sample and test all of them within 1 minute if all are same then it means that you have very high diabetes or you will die within a short period of time if all the five sample reports are different then you are very healthy what is the meaning of this means sugar level report varying is justice it is physiological it is wrong to test sugar 10 times and getting scared after seeing that is still wrong and because of that taking more medicines are more wrong because of all these a man will die but not because of diabetes or any other disease this is the first thing then some have opinions then how should our sugar level be pharmaceutical companies will tell you how your sugar level should be they have created their own signs they come and give the opinion about it to the doctors not only that they bring all the doctors and make an association called diabetic association and this pharmaceutical company pays them and makes conferences and through doctors they spread their opinions what will be there in that means sugar level should come down how much sugar is down that much people will be healthy and through surveys what we have come to know through scientifically is if the sugar level becomes too low then it is harmful in the olden days what we used to say is if the diabetes has come under control then daily we have to give him hypoglycemia his sugar level should come down he should start eating sugar this is harmful each time you consume hypoglycemia your brain cells will die thousands of them will die this is injustice it should not happen and the sugar level should not become too low because sugar is not there a man will die i will tell you one truth please all the diabetic patients remember this if the sugar level is little high for you after 25 years you may suffer because of that you can believe that but if the sugar level comes too down within 5 seconds you will die low sugar is the main reason for the death and that too who have heart problems should not bring their sh- sugar level down because heart needs sugar every organ of the body needs sugar please remember this sugar is necessary yes more is dangerous but less is also harmful what we say ours is linear mathematics in science if sugar is more it is harmful if blood pressure is more it is harmful if weight becomes more it is harmful all these are false if sugar is more it may be harmful if sugar becomes less it is surely harmful if fat becomes more it may be harmful but if fat becomes too low it is harmful if your blood pressure goes up yeah maybe it is harmful but if it comes down it is still harmful you will die why you die because of accidents your blood pressure comes down because of bleeding at time what is our worry How to raise this blood pressure therefore this is not a linear calculation this is non linear calculation it has to go up and come down it has to vary that we call healthy chaos therefore what is important for us average sugar level is important for this there is a method we call it a1c glycosylated hemoglobin when our sugar goes up our hemoglobin glycosylates for that we call hba1c and this test is enough if you do it for once in 3 months please remember once in 3 months and according to the laboratory or according to your doctor it should be less than 7 6 5 all this is wrong such people will die early in such people mortality 28% and if it is more than 9 they say it is very harmful it may be harmful but that mortality is 23% 
that means instead of less it is good if it is more what is best between 7 to 8 that is ideal in this mortality is 15% i will repeat it again if it is less than 7 you think that it should be very less no if it becomes less mortality is very high 28% if it is more than 9 you think it is very harmful no but no their mortality is 23% and if it is between 7 to 8 then you are very healthy it is an optimal range but if you have to bring it to 7 to 8 you need not take all these precious medicines you need not take lot of medicines you need not take the medicines which harm the human beings and they bring medicines from somewhere and all In Africa there is a big lizard it is a giant lizard it is huge as elephant now they make medicine out of its salivary gland and sell it they know it is harmful but still they sell it because until people come to know that this is harmful and they die let us make money my humble request is in this medicine company and doctors please don't bring the caste system There was one Benjamin Crush in America. When the Constitution was being written in 1772, he told that time only, "Don't bring caste system in medicines, and don't give much importance because it is Western medicine. One day they will monopolize it, and they will monstrosity it, but nobody listened to him. Today, what has happened is this monopoly of modern medicine has become so big means. we call it corporate monstrosity it has spread all over the world if you want a medicine for a disease it can come from any system of medicine but what is the main system you know not allopathy homeopathy and homeopathy but sympathy and empathy if doctors have love on you if you have faith over the doctors your diseases can be cured without medicines and we have proof for that till where we have proof means this worry and pain is a very big disease cancer pain for this the best medicine we give is morphine when this morphine is given to intravenous what doctors will say this is not morphine your pain will not go but disease will be cured but still no pain went morphine was going to intravenous but what doctor said that it is not morphine the patient believed because he had faith on the doctor and the pain didn't go they took the same patient and gave him salt water saline they injected it and said this is morphine they said this is morphine and all the patient's pain went for this we call placebo effect we came to know now that why this happened when the same experiment was repeated and when they did the fmr when i start believing that whatever doctor has said is right when i have faith on him whatever medicine i should get the body itself produces and that medicine will remove the pain for that we call opioids in four brain when i don't have faith on the doctor the four brain sleeps nothing will happen and the pain will not go so for each and every disease medicine is not important any doctor with how much love he gives the medicine or treatment is important and that too for diabetes medicine is not important at all please remember this after telling this i have to tell you this thing small children will get diabetes sometimes this happens this is not new this used to come before also we call it type a diabetes for such children the insulin doesn't get produced in their glands we call it type 1 diabetes that means there is no insulin in such children for such children insulin is necessary only such children need insulin everyone do not require insulin but now doctor suggests everyone should take insulin we have pen we will inject through it everything they'll say they will say it is very good all these are unscientific and all these are pharmaceutical companies signs but what is the real knowledge means most of the type 2 diabetic patients 
90% of them can control their diabetes without medicines. There are good medicines in other system of medicine. There are doctors who will change your food and control the diabetes. In Ayurveda, they will give you a good diet. All these are very good features. There is no meaning that this system is good, that system is good. Suppose if the patient's leg has to be cut, then you cannot do anything in Ayurveda. You have to go to Western medicine. That is a different question. But usually, this doesn't require so much medicine. Number one. Second thing is, as we have the opinion, the sugar level need not come down. Let the sugar be in a certain level. Let it be there and keep fluctuating. Don't try to stop it. Only when you die, the fluctuations will stop. Until you die, it has to fluctuate. It has to go up and come down. Whatever you do, whatever medicines you take, you may stand upside down. The fluctuations, you cannot stop. Therefore, some patients are there. Doctor, see, morning it was 90. Now it is 100 in the afternoon. Yesterday it was 100. Today it is 110. If yesterday also it is 100, today also 100 means you will die. It has to go up and come down. There are some people who bring 3 months old report and today's report and they will tell, see, see, see doctor. Then I tell them, I can't give medicines based on the reports. I have not learned that. I have learned to give medicines seeing patients. I tell them to sit and relax. There was a patient of pine. I have to tell about him today. He died when he was 90. He had diabetes for nearly 40 years. He had some heart problems so he used to come to me and he had diabetes. I always used to test him. Whenever I tested him, he was so healthy. His house was in Panjeshwar. From there to Manjeshwar station, he had to walk 5 kilometers. He used to have lot of porridge and he used to walk 5 kilometers. And he catches the train. Then he comes to Mangalore, gets down. Then from there he goes to Bandar to sell his arakanuts. There 5 kilometers he walks. And there he has heavy food in the afternoon. And then from there 5 kilometers he walks to the station. So he was very healthy till 90. So his sugar was very funny. His children used to come to me and say, Doctor, you are not giving him enough medicines. His sugar level is too high. I would not test his sugar, but his children used to test his sugar. When he used to come for checkup to me, I would test him and tell him that you are very healthy, don't worry. While going home, these children will check his sugar. 650, 750, sugar level. Then they would call and tell me, Doctor, sugar level has gone so high. They would say, keep quiet. Then they would say, no doctor, if you say like this, he will eat more. If there is any marriage function here, all the kheer he will only eat. Then I would say, though he ate so much, nothing has happened to him, no. He is alive, no. He works more than he eats. Will you do so much work? You go for toilet in a car. But look at him, he walks 20 miles every day. Let him eat because he walks so much. Nothing happened to that fellow. After 90 years, one day, he died when he was sleeping. Stress everyone has. But this fear only kills the human beings. Don't get scared. If you get scared of diabetes, you will die. Don't get scared. Sugar will not do you anything. Sugar is not a ghost. It hasn't come to eat you. Diabetes is not a disease. For that measure is not sugar. If you get fever, you put thermometer in your mouth to know whether it is a typhoid or some other fever. Will you come to know? No, no. In the same way is sugar. This diabetes is not a single disease. It is the metabolic effect of the liver. A genius has written a big book on it. He was in Boston. He has written, Diabetes is a liver disease. This is very true. The whole body's chemical factory is liver. If the metabolism is not correct in the liver, diabetes comes. Pancreas is just to control the sugar. There are lot of hormones in it. There is not only insulin in pancreas but also glucagon. That increases the sugar level if it comes down. God has sent such a good doctor in the human body while coming here. We call that doctor as immune system. 
it saves any human being if that human being wants to live if he works properly if he changes his lifestyle so after you get diabetes do these three things a leave the fear b change your lifestyle how to change your lifestyle the less you eat the more you will live the more you eat the early you die c more you work you will be more healthy if you sit idle you will die very early then leave the fear and have faith on the doctor i will not tell you to have faith on the medicine i am telling to have faith on the doctor he may be any doctor he may be allopathy homeopathy homeopathy ayurveda yajurveda western medicine no problem there was one big father of medicine sir william he says the two most powerful drugs are the two in words of a good doctor remember this if the doctor has to be good first he should be a good human being he need not have a big degree degree doesn't have any meaning i'm telling you these degrees are nothing those are not important am i a good human being do i have love for my patients then i'm a good doctor i may be a well read maybe a bookworm I may know everything but when the patient comes if I don't have any interest in him and when a patient comes if I think how can I fool him how can I grab money from him then you are a bad doctor nothing can happen from such doctors that is why caste is not important if you are an ayurvedic doctor also no problem if you are a homeopathy doctor also no problem if you are a doctor who don't give medicine then also it's okay your effect on the society is the same depending on your sympathy and empathy many may have sympathy oh so sad he has got this disease that sympathy is useless you should have empathy if you think that if i had that disease what would i do you have to stand in his shoes that time you'll realize the disease i always scold my students when they ask when they say sir this is very interesting case for clinics i would ask them what is interesting a 15 year old boy his heart is damaged pulse are not good some sounds are coming in it just to teach them it is very good it's good for the students to learn also then they can write in the exam the bookish knowledge i ask them what is interesting you imagine yourself in him at this age and you have three words gone which means he is likely to die in another 5 years so how would you feel if you tell somebody is interesting that is why i tell doctors need humanity who are doctors a good human being is called a doctor and this bravo vaidyo narayana hari he all this is false we have created this we have changed this what they said really was If you have a big disease and you are dying you have only one big doctor there above vaidyo narayana hari you have only one medicine ganga jala and today this is very true because today latest audits say adverse drug reaction is the leading cause for the death in the world most of the people die because of the side effects of the medicines we give instead they do not die because of the diseases this we have come to know now this truth i have to tell this is a very bitter and difficult truth people will scold but still i have to tell the truth truth is bitter churchill says it very nicely truth when it becomes ready to tell truth this false would have gone around the world three times it happens like this whatever advertisements you watch in the television they are all false they are not true please remember this these advertisements are not true this has been written very beautifully by john galbraith in his book the affluent society he says advertisements are not to tell the customers about the product it is enticing the customer to buy the product when he doesn't need it what they show in that you think Oh all these are very good when a boy drinks something he will grow big 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 tall 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 you believe that when one eats something everything will become okay all these are false what is there in that 
then you don't want that also they entice you to buy the product so please don't believe all that what is the truth diabetes is not a disease to fear if you control the diabetes by eating less and exercising more there are chances of you surviving 10 years more than a human being who does not have diabetes if complications come yes there are problems mostly it comes from the way we work way we eat from the medicines we take those medicines also have not come from the god they are man made reductionist chemicals so all these medicines have side effects so i always tell in english when there is no pill for every ill there is an ill following every pill once upon a time we used to give an aspirin tablet for every 40 year old saying that you will not get heart attack i never agreed to this I kept on telling that this is wrong and now we have come to know because of that aspirin the chances of heart attack has become double there is a risk of 200% heart attack more out of the 10% there is chances of bleeding in the brain and you may die that is why aspirin is not good we have come to know about this now aspirin is a very small tablet because of such small tablet so many side effects can happen means then what about the medicines which comes which brings the sugar level down immediately all this is wrong another secret i will tell you about the sugar one of my friends from 60 years he is treating the type 1 diabetes children from the money out of the society he is a big diabetic specialist I will not tell his name i don't want advertising there are 450 students children with him 60 year old 55 year old are also there all are type 1 diabetes in our books they should not survive more than 15 years another funny thing is they marry among themselves because they are all living together no they fall in love so type 1 diabetic marries another type 1 diabetic but their children do not have diabetes where will our book knowledge comes here but here we square scare you if father has got diabetes then you will definitely get and the next day you will get diabetes because of fear your sh- sugar level immediately shoots up not only this you will get scare because of the advertisements also when you come out of the bengaluru airport there is a big holding for your board one in five in a bangalorean is a diabetic are you one after seeing that something happens in your body you will get scared oh i may be one don't know the same fear you will carry with you to the laboratory when you get fear the olden days when we were in the forest if you get scared of tiger to escape from it our sugar level has to go up this has been created by god in us he has given a method the adrenaline comes up glycogen sugar comes now you have seen the tiger on the board the same image you are carrying with you to the laboratory sugar has gone up and you will get the label you are diabetic diabetes has not increased labeling error has increased more disease has become more in the world is because of the health detection done by us we make a camp no where we will test the people whether they have diabetes we will do a check up for the mangalorean people we will spend money on it who will spend on it who is interested in making money only will spend money on it he wants fools to make money for this we call disease mongering diseases have increased because of this disease mongering in these 100 years to see heart attacks have increased or not 1% has also not increased but we see it in a giant way he is also heart patient he is also heart patient this is labeling error